Good afternoon. My name is Hayley. I'm a health strategist and I help mostly business owners sort all of the health related shit that's holding them back. So today I'm going to talk about something that a few of my clients have been talking about this week, which is overwhelm. You might be thinking I'm a health person. Why am I talking about overwhelm? But it has quite a lot of knock on health effects, mental, physical and emotional health. So it is something that I help people with. Very often it's that feeling of we're not doing enough. We're all trying to do loads of different bits in our business and we feel like we're not doing enough and then we get overwhelmed. And when we feel like we're not doing enough, it feeds into a core belief that a lot of us have, which is I am not enough or I'm not good enough. And that starts this massive spiral of self-talk and destroys any kind of creative brain. I want to share with you some tips that I use with my one-to-one -one clients to help them with overwhelm. And it's the three T's. It's not tits and teeth or anything like that. The three T's. So the first one to help you with overwhelm is Toggle. So if you have never used Toggle, it is a time tracking software. Most of my clients, they think they're not doing enough. They feel like they're wasting their time. So let's take the emotion out of that and let's get some hard evidence and data about whether that's actually true. First of all, a lot of the overwhelm that people have comes from not having a realistic view of how long things take, right? Because I've done this myself. I've sat down on a Sunday and I'm like, oh, I'm going to write a whole week's worth of posts and schedule them. It's going to take me half an hour. It does not take me half an hour to write five or six really good posts. So I get my clients to track their time for one week. And we have a look and we say, are you sure you're not doing enough? Because, you know, there's a lot of shit here. You are working long hours and things that they think should take them half an hour. They discover that actually it takes them four hours to do something. So that is the first T, toggle, track your time and get some hard evidence and take the emotion out of whether you feel oh, I'm a shit person because I'm not doing enough. So the second T is banning trash talk. What I mean by that is as you get this overwhelm, right? All of this stuff t kicks in. Oh my God, I'm a shit business owner. I can't even get this done. I'm getting up in the morning and I don't feel like doing anything. I'm I really cut out for this. And you get this real negative downward spiral of trash talk, basically. You're trash talking yourself like some really bad 80s wrestler. <laughs> um, so we put a ban on that trash talk. Really bring some awareness to it. Notice when you're saying this stuff to yourself and try and look at yourself with a bit more compassion okay, I haven't got as much stuff done today, but guess what? Been ill all week, right? Why do we think we should be able to achieve just as much when we're not feeling that great? So that's the second T, the ban on trash talk. And the third T, which seems a bit counterintuitive, is time off. When we get overwhelmed, we are sat at our desks doing busy work, which is a form of procrastination. If you've got something that you actually need to do, but then you procrastinate by... I don't know, filling in spreadsheets, that might be one of mine, or looking at social media or doing tasks that anyone in your business could do. You don't really need to do them. They're not that important. So rather than fill your time with that kind of stuff, actually taking some time off can really help with overwhelm because it can give your brain a break. Very often you'll come up with a lot more creative solutions to things when you're taking time off. It helps with mental and emotional stress. I get my clients to go outside and have a walk or do some exercise because that can really help with making you feel better physically and mentally and emotionally. So my recap of my three T's to stop overwhelm, toggle, track your time, ban trash talk. And the third one is take some time off. If you found that useful, let me know. If you've got any more tips of your own to help with overwhelm, drop them below so that we can share them and all help each other. If you've got a subject you want me to cover, or if you've got any questions, drop them below and I'll see if I can get them answered for you.